What is up guys, it is your favorite talking Lotus here today and welcome back to the Nerdcore Nerd Corner. And today I figured I'd do some live commentary while I do some player matches, or rather I'm doing endless but it's the same thing as doing a player match. In uh, Dragon Ball's Universe 2 and this is the open beta still. Uh, today's the 15th, I'm not sure when this video is going up but this this is being recorded on the 15th. And um, a lot of people have been a lot, a lot of people have been having a lot of trouble with the servers today. I mean, and I think it's partly due to PSN being overloaded with everyone trying to play the Xenoverse 2 beta and the beta for the new Call of Duty game, which I don't know why you'd want to play Call of Duty. I, but <laughs> hey, I don't, I, don't, I don't judge. But um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, uh, everyone's been having uh, server issues, both with the open beta and the closed beta, but mostly the open beta ever since it started. Uh, me personally. Um, I, I was fine for the most part. I, I had a little bit of trouble today, but as you guys can see, I managed to get back in. And um, yeah, I'm not really having any issues. No, no frame drops, no disconnections or anything too wonky. And uh, I've been doing, I've been doing fine. So it's unfortunate for those who are having a lot of issues, but um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to uh, not experience those same issues. And I figured that uh, I would do some some live commentary today because I've got I've done a few montage videos just showing me going through player matches and rank matches and stuff um, in this game, but uh, I haven't done live commentary, so I figured I would do that uh, today, which I've never done before, so I, I don't know how, how good I am at that. I don't know if I'll be able to actually win and deliver decent dialogue while I play. Though it seems that so far I'm doing a pretty decent job at it, if I do say so myself. And I think that's W right there for us. Yup, that's game. <laughs> so um, yeah, I know when I watch people like Rhyme Style or C Reacts and stuff like they've mentioned before in videos that it's kind of difficult to focus on the gameplay while actually say something relevant and 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 consistent. It, it's basically it's hard to talk and play at the same time, which um I do believe. <laughs> I believe it. Um, I'm not sure how how well I'll be able to keep up keep this up, but um yeah. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Xenoverse 2 so far. Have you been enjoying it? If you've been able to actually play it, uh, me personally, I feel like the game is amazing. It's incredible. I've been having a ton of fun playing it nonstop. Uh, like I said, I've been doing montage videos and I was going ham on ranked uh, just yesterday and last night or whatever. And uh, yeah, man, I'm really, really excited for the release of this game. I know once the full game comes out, m the majority of the bugs and glitches and stuff will all be worked out, and the game's going to be amazing. I have no doubts that, honestly. In my own personal opinion, and I don't want to hype it up too much, but you can't really say this without it being super hype. Um, I think that Dragon Ball's Universe 2 will be the greatest Dragon Ball game to date. Between all the customization, the graphics, the the unique storyline uh, compared to other Dragon Ball games, like I, this game just has everything I want in a Dragon Ball game. To be honest, like I'm I'm almost 100% satisfied with just the beta. Like this isn't even the full game, and I've been having a blast with way more fun than I ever had with Universe One. So Xenoverse 2 has constantly impressed me with its gameplay, and it looks like we managed to get kicked out of the lobby. Um, yeah, we, we got kicked out of that endless, I don't know what happened. But yeah, Xenoverse 2 has managed to continue to impress me, and it's it's it, this isn't even the full game. So when the full game comes out, I'm probably just going to be blown away and uh, bowled over. Well, let me see if I can find my way back into a lobby or just create one of my own, and then we'll be right back. And so we're back. I just went and created my own player match lobby, and um, we've got someone in here. So to proceed with what I was saying, um, yeah, man, I just I feel like Xenoverse 2 is just going to be an incredible game. If, if the beta speaks any volumes about how much the full game is going to really impress me, then the game's going to be great. But uh, let's see what I can do against the new boy here. Um, one thing I've noticed about this game is that um, a lot of people are having a, a lot of trouble just breaking out of their bad habits from Xenoverse 1. The gameplay in this has changed pretty, I won't say drastically, but there's a lot of things that you could do in Xenoverse 1 that you just can't do in this game. Like spamming for one, uh, drifting and running away while just shooting key blasts is another thing. And then there's just, yeah, um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just really different. Like, another thing people haven't gotten used to, that perfect block though, boy! Hold up. Um, yeah, another thing people haven't really gotten used to is how quick the back hits are in this game. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the back hit is a lot faster in this game than it was in Xenoverse 1. And um, it seems like a lot of people, including myself, are having trouble with uh, this this movement right here. This, this little dash. You can do it like forward, backward, side to side, and I still don't have it mastered myself. But um, if you can master that movement, it will, it will severely increase your play, give you a, a great disadvantage in the game because uh, it gets you out of so many things. You can evade super moves and ultimate moves with it, um, avoid back hits, which is the major thing. Because if you, if you see me in this fight right now, like this guy's been getting hit with a lot of back hits, but um, oh, he just hit me with an explosive wave. 
But uh, yeah, he's been getting caught with a lot of back hits, which is something that actually I did not know how to do until I started playing the closed beta for this game. I never knew how to do a back hit in Xenoverse 1. <laughs> Lotus exposed, but I never played a lot of Xenoverse 1. I was more into Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, which is... We're not even going to talk about that game. But uh, yeah, I was more of a Naruto player than a Dragon Ball player, so there's a lot of things that I never learned about Xenoverse 1, including how to do a back hit, and that's game! <sighs> it's a beautiful finish. Yeah, and back hits was just one of those things. I just... I, I don't even really know how I learned how to do it. I just kind of figured it out by playing close beta. I think, honestly, I might have put more time into these betas than I have into the whole game of Xenoverse 1. Don't get me wrong, when Xenoverse 1 came out, I thought it was absolutely amazing. I played it a, a ton, and I put a lot of hours into it at first. Like, I didn't even go to school for like three days because <laughs> I was playing it. Um, I think I was in school, was I? Yeah, uh, that gives you a hint to how old I am. I'm not quite as old as some of you think, by the way. Uh, I am out of high school, but I'm not quite as old as some people seem to think. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I played more Naruto than, than Dragon Ball Universe, so I was never that great as Universe. But I really, really want to get really good as Universe 2. I want to be not necessarily the best or even one of the best. I just want to be able to compete with the best. So people like Phantom Elisa, um, who else is really great up there? C-Rex, of course. He, he's someone I really look up to in this game. I think he's great. I don't think people give that man enough credit. Um, and just, uh, you know, just all the big name people from, from the Universe 1. Uh, JRZ San. And uh, I was never that big in the community, like, like like I keep bringing up. So I don't know who all the top players were, aside from the people that I know from seeing on YouTube. But uh, yeah, I want to be able to compete with those guys. Like I think it'd be great, and it'd be great to get those guys in some videos at some point and just have some fun matches. So um, I've really been going hard at this game, trying to improve my skills and uh, just get better and better at it. And I, I think it's working because if you guys have watched those montage videos, I've been going pretty fucking hard. If I do say so myself, like I've actually been thrashing a lot of people and. I've, of course I've lost, everybody loses, but my losses are far and few between, and as I say that, I'm kind of getting my ass kicked right now, aren't I? But, um, yeah, man, I'm, like I said, I'm already way better at this game than I think I ever was as Universe 1, and that's, that's, that's great. But, um, yeah, man, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I've never done the whole live commentary thing, so I'm not sure what else to talk about. This guy, I don't, I don't know if it's just that my skills are that great or this guy's just not that great but um he's making a lot of amateurish mistakes so i'm just going to assume he's new to the beta or new to the game in general I, I i don't know what the case is but that's two actually that's three easy victories for us now and um this is actually a lot easier than i thought that's that's another thing i noticed is that i don't want to make it seem and i don't want to try and come off as if i think i'm really great at this game i don't like i said i i think i'm nowhere near any one of the best players in this game i don't think i'm in the top 100 players in this game or anything like that I, i'm not amazing at this game however I've noticed that there are a lot of people that just aren't adapted to the new mechanics of the game, which I kind of have an advantage because I got to play the um, the closed beta. Plus, I put a lot of time into the open beta because I haven't been experiencing all the surf issues other people have. So um, I guess I guess I got a little bit more of an advantage because I have more experience, and it looks like that guy left. But I'll keep talking until we and see if we can get someone else in here. But um, yeah, I have more experience, so I guess like that puts me over some people. But I'd, I'd like to think I'm pretty decent at this game. I just noticed that a lot of people they just aren't adapting well to to the newer play style of the game and um i have i've had more time so that might be what it is but yeah i've been i've been kind of going hard so hopefully <laughs> hopefully this is a testament to my skill um yeah there's that but i guess i'll do a cut here until we get somebody else back in this lobby um so another thing i want to know um how many of you have actually been watching dragon ball super i that's one of the few series that i have been keeping up with week to week uh, ever since it started and that was in like was that last year? Yeah, I think it was in like July of last year that uh, Dragon Ball Super started, like July 5th or something. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. You know, a lot of people are giving the series a lot of hate, and one thing people just will not let go is the art and animation. And it's been pretty hit or miss, and there have been some really bad moments, but there have been some amazing moments as well. Like episode 57 of Super, animation was incredible, and like episodes like 11 and 13 um, in the series have had like really awesome art. And the series is, is really enjoyable. I mean, as a Dragon Ball fan, I, I've really been enjoying it. This whole Black Goku, or Goku Black rather, slash Future Trunks saga or arc, whatever you want to call it, it's been it's been really great. And I don't want to, you know, spoil anything for those who haven't been watching. But um, if you have been watching it, let me know your thoughts. And uh, are you excited to play as Goku Black uh, when this game comes out, if you are, in fact, getting this game and playing it? I know I am. A lot of people, that's another thing, there was a live stream the other day with like all the really big Dragon Ball YouTubers and they were over at Bandai Namco and they, they got to play the full game and there was also like a trailer that was played during the live stream 
that showed off gameplay of Goku Black. And a lot of people were really disappointed in saying, oh, it's just a reskin of Goku. But you know, in my mind, I'm like, well, it's, it's he is Goku, it's Goku Black. I mean, he's Goku, but with a few different super moves. And that's that's what he is in the game. Like, he, ha but he has Goku's same combos, but he has the you know the super moves and stuff like like the psionic blade or whatever you want to call it that Goku Black has, and that's another victory for us. <laughs> like I said, I, I, like I'm not just trying to show off my victories. Like this is just really I just I just won you know four or five times in a row. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's just most of these people are just you know kind of new to the game and still getting a feel for it and just amateurs or if that's just a testament to my skill. But yeah, a lot of people were really disappointed about Goku Black, and I kind of understand like they definitely could have switched up his animations and given him different combos. But his character in the game is exactly what I expected it to be. Like he's Goku with Goku's combos, different clothes, and different supers. I mean, that what more could you really ask for other than different animations? I, I don't know. I understand why some people are disappointed and let down by that. But me personally, I expected exactly this because he is Goku, and I mean, he he isn't, and I, I'm not gonna reveal who he is for obvious reasons. Like I don't want to spoil it, but like, I don't know, man. That's, that's just my my stance on it. I, I he he is Goku. He's Goku. <laughs> it, in the show, I mean, you could you could argue that he doesn't really fight like Goku, but you know there is an episode where he does Goku's exact same fighting stance, and he's even used the Kamehameha, but his own evil version of it. So, you know, I'm not disappointed by it at all. And uh, this will probably be the last one. Oh, I tried to see if I could perfect block that stamina break, but that did not work out in my favor. And now this dude's about to get all up in my ass. But, um, yeah, what was I just going to say? Yeah, this will probably be the last fight I do in this video. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can make this come back real quick. And I noticed that this guy is not using advantage of, like, I don't even know what that, that move, that dashing move that I showed you guys is. I don't even know what the official name for it is yet, so, but I, I noticed a lot of people are not taking advantage of those. And that's a really great way to get out of, like, these, these back hits, and people just aren't utilizing that, that technique. So, you know, and I'm not utilizing it either, but that's really just because I don't have to. But I probably should learn how to use it. Give me that stand, my boy. But, um, yeah, I'm more of an aggressive player. Uh, I play more offense and defense, and I feel like that move is more of a defensive maneuver, so I haven't really been practicing it all that much. I probably should because I know the more advanced players are going to be able to utilize that a lot more than the people that I have been playing against. And if I want to become, you know, one of those people that can compete with the best, I gotta learn all the best techniques. So, there's that. But so far, you know, I've been getting by without it. I mean, you guys can see I, uh, I haven't really lost in this video, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to. Um, Let's see if we can finish this off with the super energy wave volley. Oh, he wasn't going back. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was about to do an explosive wave. I want to finish this off in style, though. So maybe like the dragon fist or something. That's not going to kill. But if I can catch him in another combo. And that's a W. But, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to work on my live commentary. I want to do more videos with, with me talking while playing the game uh, in the same manner that other people do. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to do more montages as well because I really enjoy editing and making those montages. And I, I've only got one posted, but I've got one in the vault right now and a third one that I'm being worked on as of this recording. So, um, yeah, and I got really good reception on the first one. I think the second one is even better than that. So I'm really <laughs> hoping that I get some positive feedback on that one. And I think the third one is just as awesome. So... Uh, look forward to that. Stay tuned. That's pretty much all I have today, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.